It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from, it's my first beer from Bracket Brewing in Australia. And this is their test print double IPA, 8.2% ABV, 440 milliliter can. I am dead excited to get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Now, I don't know much about printing, but this can looks like, um, well, it looks like it's all about printing. It's different colours and uh, it's a test print. It, it, it's, and I think this is a really good name for the beer. Now, for me, what this means is, and it's an Australian craft beer, and I've not looked on the website. Thank you to Mick in Australia for sending me this wonderful beer. This beer, if I was to guess, is a beer that evolves over time. A test print. So if the test isn't right, there's a slight adjustment to the ink to make sure you don't print a thousand batches of something which is not quite right. And this is what kind of, for me in my mind, Bracket Bruin are trying to represent here on the front of their can. They're trying to get the beer absolutely spot on. And when they get it spot on, perhaps then they brew larger batches of this beer. I could be completely wrong. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, good levels of smoke on the can opening. Uh, beer in the glass, got my IPA glass here. Yeah, look at this. Right, we have a <clears throat> two to three finger white creamy white head good levels of carbonation as i roll the beer around i'll be able to give you a big swirl when i drink some of it uh, but look at this liquid look at this liquid really dense really cloudy really well new england ipa looking but they call it a double ipa so does that mean we're going to get some bitterness on the back end rather than, well, I mean, it looks like a New England IPA, but will it be with bitterness? Let's get the aroma. Super hazy, hazy beer. It smells incredible. The aroma on this beer is just mind-blowingly good oh. passion fruit mango grapefruit but do you know what the biggest aroma is on this one tinned pineapple now, you probably get tin pineapple in Australia. We certainly get it here in the UK. If you ever open a tin of tin pineapple, you have that kind of syrupy juice that's in the, with the tin pineapple. It helps to preserve the pineapple. Well, if you imagine kind of smelling the open tin of tin pineapple, this is what I'm getting. Lots of tangerine, lots of orange notes. It smells incredible. Mick, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the beer. Let's get in. Cheers. I nearly said stone the crows then before I drank the beer. Let's get in. Eyeballs in the back of your head moment. Oh my goodness me, what a beer.
What a beer. What a beer. I've not had a double IPA of that quality in a long, long, long time. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Oh. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, tin pineapple. But it's more than that. You're getting all of those flavours, but it's like... You know when you watch a car show, if you're into cars, you might watch like the top 10 cars of 2022. You know, we're at that time of year where we're at the end of 2022 and we see all of these top 10 videos coming out. And you might get to the top three cars and it might be a slight improvement but very slight between one car and another. Might be the way the car goes through the gears. It might be just the smoothness. Might be the seats at a better quality. It's refinement. We're at that level of refinement, that kind of between a, a Lamborghini and a Ferrari and a Porsche. It's all kind of very, very high end. But something has to win and it's it's the real refining moments that make something win and it makes you feel better than what might come in third place or second place it's that first place now this beer and i totally understand why they called it test print for me bracket brewing company are bringing out Slightly different styles of this test print. Again, tell me in the comments if I'm completely wrong. It's an Australian brewery. It's my first ever beer from Bracket Brewing. I'm guessing that this is what this can is all about. But it's about, in the printing world, this is about making sure that when you print your newspaper, it's of the most absolute quality. People can read it. People can understand it. People can save it under a floorboard because it means that much to them. This is the epitome of refinement this beer is so refined so full of quality there's a little bit of sweetness over here there's a little tiny pinch of bitterness over here but everything is in the middle and it's all hops you're getting your passion fruit, your mango, your grapefruit, your orange peel, your fleshy blood orange. But it's not kind of concentrates. It's not, there's no fruit concentrates in the beer. This is all from the hops. The mouthfeel is creamy and rich. The carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's... This could very well be. This could very well be the best double IPA that I have ever reviewed on the channel. And I've reviewed Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger, The Alchemist, Heady Top, and I've done all of those beers on the channel. They're all there to see. This could be the best double IPA that I have ever drank in my life. It is pure refinement like like formula one style tweaking of the rear wing style refinement it's beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful beer i mentioned earlier once i've drunk some of the beer i'll be able to wash it round in the 
glass a little bit. There you go. Have a look. I just spilled some of this amber nectar on the floor. Have a look at that. Have a look at the lacing. Have a look at the beer. Have a look at... Just, just take a look at this beer. It's incredible. The aroma. The flavour. The taste. Mind-blowing. Test print. Uh, we love a good experiment, and this double IPA is no exception. With the recent developments in small-scale direct-to-can printing, we thought we'd run a few tests to test its strengths and weaknesses. Cue an email from our friends at Freestyle Hops, offering us one of the experimental hop varieties codenamed Peacherine. A few drinks later, test print was born. So it looks like I got it wrong. It looks like I got it wrong. It looks like, rather than refining the beer, it's about using freestyle hops, experimental hops on a cat in a beer. But I don't think I was too far away when I was talking about refinement, I don't think I was too far away anyway. I think if they went with that story on the front of the can, it'd probably work. They've gone with the story of the using experimental hops as the test. Again, it works. Uh, Bracket Brewing, what a deliberately, a deliberately small, I love that, family run brewery in the heart of Alexandria, Sydney. Our focus is on making small batches of uncompromising and experimental beers we're proud to share. It's bonkers good. Bonkersly good beer, this. Absolutely proud to be independent. You've got your Australian independent stamp there on the side of the can. This could be the best double IPA that I've ever, ever reviewed on the channel. There once was an Australian beer advert, which they called their beer the Amber Nectar. That's not the Amber Nectar. This is the Amber Nectar. It's beautiful. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give it. If I had more fingers, I would give it more mags, but I only have eight fingers. A smashed up hand look where I've been swinging my sledgehammer. Two thumbs and eight fingers. So it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.